Let's compute the limit when h is approaching to 0, 2 plus h to a third power minus 8, all over h. First thing first, plugging 0 into all the h to see what we get. So right here, as we can see, we will get 2 plus 0 to the third power minus 8, and this is like 2 to the third power, which is 8, minus another 8, which have 0 on the top. And when you plug in 0 into the denominator h, which is also going to be 0, so we have 0 over 0, that means we have to do more work. And in this situation, we see that we have 2 plus h to the third power. To do more work, we have to take this and expand it. And what I mean by that is, notice that 2 plus h to the third power means 2 plus h times 2 plus h times 2 plus h. And to do this, I'm going to multiply the first two things together. 2 plus h times 2 plus h is going to give us 4 plus 4h plus h squared, because 2 times 2 is 4, and then 2 times h is 2h, but I have another 2h right here, because h times 2, and then h times h gives us the h squared. But then we still have one more. You see that we still have the 2 plus h. So now we have to take this and multiply with 2 plus h. And in this case, I will follow this out. So I will take the 4, and I will multiply with 2, and I will have the 8. I will take 4, multiply with h, that gives us 4h. I'm done with this 4, and now move to the 4h. This is a positive 4h. I will take this, multiply with 2, I will get 8h. 4h times h, that will give us 4h squared. And then the last one is h squared times 2. Let me change this into blue. h squared times 2 right here give us 2h squared. And h squared times another h give us h to a third power. Okay, so I have all this, and I can combine my terms. We can see that the 4h and the 8h together that give us 12h, and a is right here. And then here I have the 4h squared, positive 4h squared, plus the 2h squared that give us 6h squared. And finally, we have the h to a third power right here. Okay, so this limit is the same as the limit when h is approaching to 0. I'm going to take this, and I will use this to replace that. So 2 plus h to the third power is all this. This becomes 8 plus 12h plus 6h squared plus h to the third power. And once again, this part it's because of this part. And then we still have the minus 8 on right here, right? So, minus 8. On the denominator, we have an h. And let's see if there's anything that we can do on the top. We have a positive 8, and this is a minus 8. So they become 0. That's very nice. And once we get rid of the a minus 8, we notice that this is 12h plus 6h squared plus h to a third power. They all have an h, so I can factor out an h. And I will end up with, inside, we will have 12 plus 6h, and then plus h squared. So this h goes out, and then you see, originally you have h squared, but I factor out the h, so that's why it's just a 6h. Originally it says h to the third power, I factor one out, so this is h to the uh, second power. The good thing is that you see that this h and this h can cancel each other out. And once again, we can cancel them out. And in fact, that's the part that costs us 0 over 0. And finally, what we can do is, well, h is approaching to 0, and that's all the expression. Let me write this down again. This is the same as the limit when h approaching to 0. All the expressions is just this. Like everything right here is just 12 plus 6h plus h squared left. And then I will plug in 0 into all the h to see what we get. And I'll just show you guys all the work. This is going to be 12 plus 6 times h, but h is approaching to 0. So I will plug in 0 into this h. And then I will add h squared, but the h is equal to 0. So I will plug in 0 into that parentheses right here. Well, 6 times 0 is 0, 0 squared is 0, so I will end up with a nice number, 
this is the nice number 12, and that will be my nice answer for the limit. That's it.